Okay, welcome back to another video on my Dreamcast graphics engine and what this one is showing is really just a few changes that I've made over the last few days and what you'll see here is firstly that these sprite emitters, particle emitters rather, uh, are now casting light so each particle doesn't cast light unfortunately uh, but the emitter does so it gives it gives a nice impression so in here is more or less the same the big difference in this video is previously there were these little actors or these cubes that are wandering around and they would cast light and I've changed that on this so I've put these lights down and the idea is that the cubes that you see now are blocking light or in that case just spinning around so let's go and find a cube on on here so you'll see these are all casting light and when the cube obscures the light you'll see the shadow so I'll just keep the camera still and hope that these cubes are behaving so you'll see yeah that's gone right over the light it casting a you know a fairly reasonable quality light uh, it's still using this grid so everything in the levels laid out on a grid and you've got these what I call crude blocks that are 8x8 eight eight, which are your kind of Wolfenstein style graphics and then you've got these fine level tiles that either you can add geometry on yourself or the light will will deal with that so if I put the light bloom on what you'll see here is I've deliberately created a few textures that use the bloom namely the lighted ones so if we go in here you'll see a few things that have changed that so you've got this bloom but I've added it to a few of these wall uh, textures so there's a bloom texture and it's a little bit like the corridor that you get on Alien Isolation really that's where I got the idea for this from uh, so let's have a wander around you'll also notice the shadows if I if you take this light here on the right it's casting light to the left if I walk in front of it I also will cast a shadow probably see it going dark uh, if I do that there I don't know how well this shows up on the video probably not that well um, yeah let's see where this cubes going because this will show uh, it blocking the light I really should have added a few more cubes because it just shows how the light gets obscured um, this one's a bit far from a light source but you'll see there that green one that was casting a shadow I've artificially um, turned up the kind of the, oops, the ambient lighting uh, just so it shows up better in the video I've noticed this camera tends to make the top of the screen look a bit dark uh, so we'll go into this section here and this has got similar lighting so if we change the light so you can turn the bloom up which increases the blur level but it sometimes misses some of the highlights so if I turn that down that turns it right down uh, you get all the highlights but you don't get the effect and the other one is to just crank it up to max and see what it looks like like that so this is on max bloom settings which looks a bit crazy so that's a super bright light just drop it down we'll have a look in here so the problem is it is if you turn the the bloom up too much yeah oops yeah it glitches if you set it to zero uh, there's a divide by zero in there see that's the bloom blur to, turned up a bit too much um, it doesn't pick up the highlights it's only when you start to turn it down a little bit that it picks up these 
highlights, whoops, bit of dodgy clipping going there. So we'll go back in here. Let's tip it up a little bit. Yeah. So the idea is that this is meant to look a little bit like alien isolation in a way. Um, so the lighting you'll see here is the lights have a fall off distance and what this does is there's a couple of optimizations that I've had to make so for example if you're looking at a tile um, which is say one here you won't really see the light falling off um, on the lights and the shadows because it's drawing it in a fairly you know, high resolution detail but the ones in the distance uh, it draws in a lower quality one but you you don't really notice it so the ones over there it's really really just lighting the entire tile um, the light that is uh, but you don't notice it. it so it's only rendering at the level of one big you know big 8 by 8 block uh, but the ones closer to the camera, it's rendering every block, or every tile rather. Um, so that was just one question that I had. Uh, and the idea is, the the more kind of further ahead you set this high quality detail, uh, it slows the machine down. So really, uh, what I need to work on is a bit of a uh, uh, kind of like a dynamic level of detail manager so when the frame rate starts to drop a bit it'll just crank this value down and the other thing that affects it is how many lights you've got so let's see if this one will cast a shadow it probably won't because it's right between two different light sources so one of them is going to light it yeah I think I'll leave it there so this has covered most of the new uh, additions to the the engine. It's just a few tweaks here and there, uh, but it creates the effect I was looking for. So the idea is actors in the world and the um, the walls are all creating these dynamic shadows. Um, and you've got the light bloom as well. So there have been a few changes that I've made to the editor as well, so I might do a, a video on that and how I put the levels together, which is a little bit like Minecraft, but not quite. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there. So thanks very much for watching and hopefully uh, I'll be able to make a few more uh, videos on this engine soon. So yeah, thanks for watching.